really idealizing something like intuitive eating. Like I want to listen to my body. I want to just listen to my body. And, um, and the, like, what is realistic for my schedule in life and, and all of that. Right. So there's that conflict and the example that I used to give kind of similarly to what you're saying, Lori, is that, and this used to happen to me that I would wake up like on probably on the weekend, I would wake up late in the day, maybe like 10 AM or something. And if I know that I want to go to a 12 o'clock hot yoga class. So I'll wake up around 10 ish or 9 30 or 10 or whatever. And I know that there's part of me that's like, well, I don't want to eat like breakfast before I go to a hot yoga class. And if it's like 10, 10 30, I'm like, I'm not going to eat now and then go into class. Like, so if I'm, but if I'm just listening to my body, I'll wake up at 10. I won't be hungry at all. Then I'll go to a 12 o'clock yoga class that'll last for an hour. And then by the time I take a shower, I get home, it's almost 2 p.m. And I've eaten nothing. And I just did an incredibly intense workout. So I have to know cognitively, not intuitively, that if I'm going to go to a 12 o'clock yoga class, I should probably put something in my body beforehand. Not because I feel like it or because I'm hungry, but because I'm a parent and I have a child. And I would never send my kid off for the next five hours to go be extremely physically active without any fuel. That's why. So it's just kind of, and it, and it doesn't mean listen to your body versus planning and they're like this all the time. It's just you're taking information from both of them. You're taking information, you're listening to your body. I'm not really that hungry right now. Okay, but your cognitive brain knows, but it, you're gonna go do activity and you haven't eaten anything. So maybe just something, okay? So this is how I get to something exactly like what Kate just said, like a banana, which by the way is great because it's all carbs and it'll, boom, there's your energy for your workout. So just that idea of they don't have to fight it's not like a battle of like, who's right and wrong. It's you have a brain and you have a body. So just listen to both of them. And just the, the only problem, right, is the, the relationship between them. When it becomes conflict and battle and war and someone has to be right, they're both right. They're both yours. So that's kind of, I always go back to that. And I think that's exactly what you guys are saying is you're, fi you're, you're figuring that out exactly. And it's not, you know, it's not a hundred percent intuitive eating, but it is intuitive in that you're listening to your body and the information and the guide is your body and your own feelings. And that's, yeah.